Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're talking about backups and managing your hosted backups. So, uh, incredibly important and emotionally to uh, charged topic if you've ever lost data. And that data may have been lost by malicious uh, viruses, ransomware. It might have been hardware fault and your uh, drive just uh, crashes. It might be your USB thumb drive. We get a lot of that. It might be theft or fire of your equipment. It might be employees that maliciously or just, you know, just something happens and they've overwritten data. So your data has to be backed up. Let me give you a couple other stats here. 25% of all PC users lose data in a current year. One out of four uh, is a lot. And I, I mean, the question is, is, are you willing to take that risk? This is a cheap insurance. Seven out of 10 firms that experience a major data loss will go out of business within one year. 15% of all laptops are stolen or suffer hard drive failures. And there's a $12 billion cost for data loss here in North America. So it's just huge. 96% of all workstations are not backed up. So I'm gonna show you how you can protect. It's super easy. You download some software, there's a, always a cost per gig with, uh, with online backup solutions, but it's an insurance cost and compared to what happens if you lose your data, this is cheap. So let's, let's get right in here. Okay, here's the backup software and we've installed this in the previous video. So if you wanna know where to download and how to install this software, it's gonna be on our YouTube channel as well as uh, linked down below. Okay, so we've, uh, we've installed the software. First thing we need to do is create a backup set. So I'm gonna go in here, we gotta create a backup. So this is uh, Dar's work. Station. This software also allows you to back up Microsoft SQL uh, or uh, Microsoft Exchange as well. So I'm going to click next here and then it's going to ask me where I want to back up. Normally I just back up on my local computer. I've got uh, client files and things on here uh, under my D drive. So I'm going to back up uh, my corporate folder as well as my customers folder here. You can see that there's 14 megs uh, in size. That's actually seems a little bit small, but I can also click in here and get a little bit more minute with different customers or different uh, folders in here. I can also go in here and back up only files that match certain file types. Now this is really important because you're paying for every gig of uh, data, that, uh, every gig of data that you're backing up. So there's some files that are really big. Outlook files are really big. Music files are really big. Uh, SQL, if you're uh, scanning everything, that can add up to a lot of space. And because you're paying by the gig, you may or may not want to back that up. So it'll back up everything in the folder, except for instance, if it's a music file or if it's a movie file. So you can go in here and there's, there's two different choices. I'm gonna click cancel and you can back up files matching template only. So you can say, I just wanna back up my QuickBooks files. And so you would go in here, you would say, I want my accounting files. You can see here's QuickBooks uh, style files uh, add and then that's part of the template. Or you can say, I wanna back up everything except my QuickBooks files. So it's very, very powerful that way. In my case, I'm gonna back up everything. So we're gonna go next. And then it's going to, do we wanna back up to a remote? That means to the cloud, which in our case is in Kelowna, Canada. Or we can go to uh, uh, initial backup, which is okay. So this might be, so you send it off, you back it off somewhere and you send it off to the server because if you're doing a really big download, or your first time you're backing everything up, it could take a long time. So you have the option of backing up locally and then mailing it uh, with uh, Canada Post over to the data, uh, over to us and we'll get it on the server. You also can do it locally uh, to local storage. So there's a couple different options here. Now we're gonna back up to uh, the cloud. So we always use the same server. This is the name of the server. And then we provide you with a username and password. So this is my username and a password here, and we're gonna go okay. 
So it's testing, it says, okay, I like that server. And now we can do different things here, compression levels, so you can uh, compress at different levels. It doesn't affect the actual uh, pricing. So if you're looking at, at it's actually uncompressed size uh, that everything is calculated on in, in the backup industry. So block level backup is really good. Uh, and, and that's a feature of, of this software. What it means is every day when it's doing the backup, it's not rebacking up the entire file. It actually compares the files and finds out which small blocks within the files have changed. And that's all it backs up. And so it still gives you a full backup of your files, but it keeps them very, very small. And uh, so that's that's a, a huge benefit here. And then of course, it's gonna be encrypted. So uh, we can also add in emails here so that when the backup completes, it backs it up. I'm going to go in here and um, uh, I'm going to add in uh, my email address and you could add yours in here as well. And now we have to add an SMTP server. Um, I don't have this available to me right now, so I'm going to cancel this, but you should check with your internet service provider. They generally have a... Um, uh a username or a password you can also you know i'm going to put something in here smtp uh dot gmail dot com that's uh 487 i believe and we're going to have to use ssl uh, and it's going to come from me uh or we could say you know it's from backups uh back up and then of course i'm going to need authentication Okay, great, so it's gonna send me information. It's a good idea, especially with uh, maybe not information messages, but warnings and errors, because if some point in the future, your backups start to fail, you need to know about that, because if they're not working and you don't know about it, and then something happens and you need your backup, big problem. So it's a good idea to send emails on failures. Okay, so we've got all that. Uh, we're gonna go next. And we're gonna uh, run this. It says daily at uh, some point in the day. Uh, I like to do it, you know, you need to make sure your computer's on. So either, uh, you know, just before closing time, if your computer's on 24 seven, then sometime like at 1 a.m. when there's nobody around. And, uh, and then you can of course schedule it for weekly or what have you. So we're gonna do uh, weekly on uh, I'm going to do mine on Wednesdays. Okay, so we're going to go. This is all good. We need to put in a password here. Let's make sure that's correct. Okay, valid. That's important as well because if you're logged off and uh, computers these days usually have security. If you don't have a password in here and you're logged off, uh, your files are not going to get backed up. So we're going to go finish and then we can run this back up now. Okay, so that's really all there is to it. Uh, you do need to come back on a regular basis, check your email, make sure your backups are working. That's very, very important. If there is a problem, correct it and then uh, keep on going. This is Dar with Helia and the Helia Technology Report. Thanks for watching. If you do have questions, there's uh, contact information below or depending where you're watching, there might be a form up here that you can put your information in and we're uh, always happy to help. Bye for now.